Then what is very important is to support your spouse, to stand by your spouse, to be fair and just. Here I need to spend a few minutes. What is the meaning of fair and just? Your mother has a problem with your wife. You don't just side with one of them. No, you must be just. You must be fair. If your mother is wrong, she is wrong even if she is your mother. We have an attitude where we say, my mother is my door to paradise. My brother, sometimes your mother is your door to hell. Did you know that? From Islam, I'm telling you, if that mother of yours is oppressive and she is doing something wrong, she could be your door to hell, not to heaven. Do you know that? Wallahi. And I, I, I am saying this with all passion because we have seen a lot of marriages where the mother-in-law thinks she is the queen who is married to the woman who you are married to before you. And then she comes and relays all her unjust instructions which are absolutely unacceptable. And the man just sits down, that's my mother. That's my mother. That's my mother. How long are you going to keep on saying that's your mother when she is oppressing your wife? Something somehow, somewhere needs to be said. Either speak to your father or tell your mother, Mother, I love you so much. I did not marry this woman for her to be a means of taking my love away from you or your love away from me. The love I have for you is totally different from the love I have for her. So mother, I will love you forever, but I want to tell you this is the line you do not cross my beloved mother and you kiss her forehead. You can kiss her hands and her cheeks and tell her that my mother you are wrong. Lay it down. When you do not lay your territory, your marriage cannot work. People don't know where is my limit. They don't know. So how can your marriage work? Your mother doesn't know, your father doesn't know. Some fathers issue instructions to their daughters-in-law worse than the instruction of their own son to that wife of theirs. So what was the point? Father, why didn't you just marry this woman one time? That is not fair. You cannot just come and say, that's my daughter-in-law, I must tell her. You stand here, you go there. No, they have their life. Give them their freedom. Understand, they too need to grow in marriage to live happily ever after. It's not just you who comes and dish instructions and go out. I know this, what I've said here might be a bit bitter for some people to digest, but it is a fact of life. It is a red button that we press and we need to press it and constantly remind people because when you talk about happily ever after, remember, you need to address issues that are current and valid. Otherwise, you are wasting your time. I cannot speak about a fairy tale because none of us will then learn something by the time we walk out of these doors. So this is why we say you need to be just. Tell your father where he should stand with respect. And please, the parents do not hate your child just because he needs a bit of time with his wife. No. Or the wife needs time with the husband or the children. No, allow them that. Let them go. You do not have to go everywhere your children go. Uh, we are going for a holiday, for example, to Penang or to Lenkawi. So now father says, we are coming with. Okay, you come with, mashallah. The next year we are going to holiday. We are going to this place. We are coming with. The following year we are... So whenever did they go alone? Never. Why? Because mom and dad tag along. Give them once or twice, a few times. Give them their own. Tell them, look, you guys go along, inshallah, enjoy yourselves. And next time we will join you. Perhaps you can arrange for us. Yes, it is very important to look after your parents. Believe me, we are not at all undermining that. That is a rule on its own. Look after your parents, but... Be just when it comes to your relation with them and the relation with your spouse. Be just. Even your children. Some people, and this happens in some homes, they have more than one child. So the children begin to get children. So those children who live with them in the same home, every time we shout them, we pick on them. Why? Because they live in the same home. And when the other son's children come, because they live far away, Oh, my son, where were you? What happened? These children are watching. They are seeing. Look at this grandfather of mine. These people here, does he know what they do at school? And here he is embracing them. It is only because we are foolish. Human nature makes us get irritated with those we live with sometimes. And we don't know those who are really irritating are actually so close to us because they are far. This is why we tell parents, sometimes you need to make sure your children live a little bit of a distance from you so that you can be even closer in relation. And I have seen in my life with lots of experience that those children who do not live with their parents are sometimes close 
closer in relation with their parents. They have a better understanding and they have a much better relation. And I am not promoting people to abandon their parents. No, you need never to abandon your parents. If you do that, you are sinful of the highest order. But what we are saying is give each other your breathing space is very important. Give each other breathing space. Some women, they get married into homes where mother-in-law sits and dishes instruction, right? Today we will cook this, 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 this. I'm inviting 20 people for lunch, 40 people for supper. Tomorrow morning, 60 people for breakfast. But hang on, man. I have one daughter-in-law here. We are a few people here. What's going on? If this happened once a while, it's okay. But you cannot just sit back and dish out instructions as though this is a restaurant. Mashallah, if you really want, I have a friend who owns a restaurant known as Dine More down the road. Perhaps we can go there. <laughs> Mashallah. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. I had to mention that because you know, there are a few restaurants we've been to here. And Mashallah, the cuisine is something else. So my brothers and sisters, I'm just thinking of it, probably the cooks are, are, are males, not females. Remember this. When you say food is very nice, a sharp woman would say, well, that's a male cook. Which means now let's eat here every other day. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. So the point being raised is be just, be fair, be balanced. You cannot keep it lopsided all along because you will have your children. They will grow up. They will get married. How do you like your daughter to be treated? Remember this. Remember, very important point.